What's up guys and welcome to part 4 of Parquet Fernando. We're just going to be grinding through the story, seeing what we get. Getting closer and closer to the final and we're finally going to meet, well run into Baden and his story for this map. So, hope you enjoy. If I wanted people to come in hunting blind, I wouldn't have invested in outposts. I'm not going to send you on a manhunt. I have people for that. But while you are there, is there anything that might help identify this trespasser? So this boludo was careless enough to leave a cell phone oh. behind. Let me guess. Is his passcode 11111? Wow, I can't believe that worked. But I can't believe this phone belongs to Gilbert Baden. He's this foreigner too much money for his own good. And he paid me a lot of it to come here before opening, to study puma behaviors. He was supposed to leave days ago, though. What's on the phone? Send me the link. Worst day ever. The outpost rooms were just a single large plastic bucked without bucket, without a bed. I was lucky I brought a mattress, <laughs> brought a mattress to use when I was out hunting. Cannot recommend. One star. Parque Fernando Lodging Review. One out of five stars. No running water, no electricity, no facilities at all, really. Of course not. I told you we weren't open, you pelotudo. Don't trust the owner, Carolina. She promised pumas in the area. Been here six days, haven't seen a single cat. Because you are an amateur, but then... False advertising. Worst so-called reserve I have ever visited in my life. I would give it zero stars, but that isn't an option. Hmm. Are you serious? I have never been so insulted, and believe me, I know insult. Pelotudo. Well, she read it for me, so... <laughs> you know what we need right now, besides Baden's head on a plate? A break. We deserve some fun. I'd invite you over to watch telenovelas, but I bet you'd rather be up there shooting. I found four of them. I can't remember how many there are, but I found four of them already. Actually, there is four of them. These challenges recreate oh. four of my personal best shots. The first is from the most difficult hunt of my life. Fernando had only been gone a few months, and he left everything to me, which angered half the family tree. I hardly had time to grieve before Fernando's brothers and uncles and cousins were pushing me around. Every man wanted his piece of Fernando's operation. They said I had no business being in charge. Every day my world was spinning out of control faster and faster. So I came out here to find clarity. Walking this ground, I could still feel Fernando's hand holding mine. in this stone circle. See the target? This was where I made my trophy shot that day. Can you replicate that? Oh, yeah. B, you are a good shot. You know, making this shot changed something in me. Even without Fernando, if I could make shots like this, I knew I could protect my family and my interests. All I had to do was aim at the right target and pull the trigger. Click. Let's move on to the next challenge.
next challenge recreates a very happy memory for me. It's the spot where I taught my nephew Vicente and my chinita Beatriz how to make a long shot on Axis deer. Beatriz got the hang of it quickly, not Vicente, but he practiced and practiced and practiced, and that was when I knew he was in love with Beatriz. Why else would this bookworm be so desperate to learn to hunt? Not to impress his tia Carolina. Okay, youngster, step into the stone circle. Ace your lesson. Nice, very nice. This shot has me thinking. I wish Vicente would declare his love for Beatriz. They are from different worlds. He's a white collar college boy and she's a rough and tumble gaucha. But opposite the drug. And the sooner they marry, the sooner they'll start making more little pentejitos for me to love. <laughs> Listen to me. Your next challenge is marked on your hunter mate. Your next target replicates a tricky shot I made a year after my beloved Fernando was taken from me. Despite my resolve to fight, despite my prayers, I was afflicted with mala leche. Fernando's uncle Diego Chepoludo had sued me to take control of the business. And won. Total disaster. It was the darkest day I'd seen since my beloved left this world. And if it was all coming to an end, there was only one place I wanted to be. Here, with memories of Fernando. And that's when a remarkable opportunity presented itself. A 15-point red duck. Yeah, it worked out. Step into the stone circle and look for the target. This isn't an exact replica of my stack that day, but it's the same shot. Fine marksmanship. That shot, that whole hunt was lucky because when I got back to the city with my record-setting stack, Uncle Diego was reported missing. They never found his body either, which implies that he fled the country, or maybe a puma got into his room, dragged him from his bed, and ate him for a midnight snack. Just speculating. Whatever happened, he was never a problem again. The family business, this reserve, they were mine, free and clear from then on, with just a few minor obstacles along the way. Go to your last challenge. This next shot has a morbid origin. About eight years after Fernando died, there was, um, uh, there was an assassination, viste? The target was a local politician, Dario Menem. He was lobbying to open up protected habitats, like this reserve, for energy companies to exploit. I invited him here to show him the natural beauty, persuade him to change his position. Unfortunately, or maybe fortunately, he took a 270 bullet through the heart while hunting our red stack. 
the shooter was never identified. Before you get any wild ideas, no evidence has ever suggested I was the shooter, but I am an expert on the matter. The forensics team on Dario's case asked me to help them recreate the shot. It seemed impossible to them. It wasn't an easy mark, but I proved it could be done. All these years later, I've recreated the shot that broke Dario Menem's heart, for you to try. Using a simple bullseye target, of course, all in good taste. Excellent. CCC, maybe you were Dario Menem's assassin. If you were the shooter, I'd share a mate with you. Dario was a lowlife with no vision. He radiated mala onda. Not like you and I. Hey, that was four for four of my most memorable shots. You may not be a national champion like me, but you have my respect. There are plenty of other targets throughout the reserve. Use them to keep your skills sharp. I've got a new long-term goal for you. Harvest a diamond trophy from every species in the reserve. Only one other hunter has collected them all. Naturally, that hunter was me. But that was some time ago. And if we are going to impress our guests, we need more recent trophies at the lodge. To prove that the red stacks today are as grand as they were in 1987. Hear that? Another episode begins. Oof, but I'll have to record it. I need to check in on the search for Gilbert Baden. Take a few minutes to yourself. Alrighty. You will not believe this. The men I hired to track down Gilbert Baden couldn't find him. But then, Beatrice calls me. She's always a step ahead of the rest. So, of course, she just stumbled over a campsite in view of a Puma Den. Now, who would be stupid enough to come that close to Puma? We know who. Gilbert Baden. Time for Esposas y Jefas to be on. Okay, quickly. Beatriz moved on to prepare for our VIP hunting party. You check out Baden's campsite and report back to me. I'll answer even if it is not a commercial break. I won't have our influential guests worrying about a madman loose on the reserve. We are finding Baden tonight. Good luck. Ah, thanks. Shouldn't have. Oh my. We might have to get that spike. Sheesh. You know what? I think we're just going to take the shots from here. We're at, what was that, 350? Yeah. Should be a good hit. Good hit. He is down. So I think I got a spine shot on him. Let's make sure that the... Good. Perfect. And then, yeah, a spine hit. With a seven. That's looking seven, though. And a little spike. I just realized my mistake. Oh, well, that's fine. I still got a good hit. I shot low. <laughs> so we're good. But I added it to 300.
nice crisp little hard shot. That should have been a single long. Okay, uh, hmm. I got one of them, I guess, but that was weird. Alright. Take a quick gander. See if there's anything else. Nope. Did not see anything else. Commercial break. Do you see the campsite? Is Baden there? You can confront him. Just don't shoot him. Hmm. He's not dangerous. He didn't bring any weapons onto the reserve. Check out that tent. Hope there's no puma inside. Pagonian Ventures of Gilbert Biden Animal Whisper. Excursion Day 14. Set up a camp near my new friends over at the... Mm. Who are his friends? The only other people around here are Pumas. Check out this cave Baden mentioned. That's the Puma Den. If the Pumas are out, see if you can find his, his remains, I guess. <laughs> anyway. Set up camp near my friends over at the Cave of Wonders I found. Shared my last camping rations with them. They sure were hungry. Now that I'm out of rations, the only way to earn their respect he here in the wild is to hunt down fresh meat. I've played 10,000 hours of hunting games on my computer. So I feel more than adequately uh, prepared for this challenge. How hard can it be? Of course I won't be catching anything barehanded. I need a weapon. But do not fear. I'll find one. My new friends will see... When Gilbert Byron sends his mind on something, nothing can stop him. My cause is just. My will is strong. G. Baden. Ah. Uh. Boy, he gonna die. Oof, there's a carcass, but not Baden. Check this animal. I don't think the pumas left it there. That animal must have suffered. Obviously, that's the work of someone who doesn't know what he's doing. Like a certain amateur who wasn't licensed to bring weapons into the park. Jeez. The four in the rear, three in the head. Jeez. For now, can you help me out with something a little more personal? I have a, what do you call it? A secret stash. A place in the wilderness where I keep personal items. Things I might need in the future that I don't want anyone else to find. Okay, I trust you. So I'm going to tell you where my secret stash is. Go to the location marked on your hunter maze. Because I'm lazy, yes. Nine, so they might not. You know, back I've up. come to appreciate your stoic demeanor. Quiet types are easy to talk to. Don't make me regret trusting you, viste? Alright, let's see what you got. Check me at the big rock for a key. You'll need it to unlock my stash. Now, bring that key to the new location marked on your hunter maze. Uh, all right. Well, I just found out the identity of Simona's biological father on his posas y jefas. And all I can say is, wow, I did not see that twist coming. I won't spoil it for you. Spend enough time working with me, you two will become obsessed with telenovelas. You'll see. 
My secret stash should be just ahead of you. Use the key to unlock it. <coughs> Grab the cash and the VHS tape. I don't see the cash, I just see the H, H to VHS tapes. Oh well. Good. Now bring the cash and the tapes to the outbox on the pier near the lodge. I'll have them picked up by the airplane. Oh, but did I tell you? Our freight vendor fired that pilot who dropped the solar panels. Vicente made certain he'll lose his license never to fly again. Malalicia for him. Alright. Just because it makes things quicker for Amy be the story. I've always dealt exclusively in cash for all my businesses. You can trust credit, you can trust banks, but you can trust cash in hand. Very true. Cash is everything. The bootleg telenovelas, if you are wondering, are all the classics I recorded but never had time to watch in the 80s. I was too busy between the family and the business. Family is important. Never let television get in the way of them. At least until you are my age. Then you deserve all the TV you want. <laughs> for making that deposit and for being trustworthy. Now let's finish this day off with the bank. We had a drop off here at the inbox today. Go on, open the inbox. <coughs> yes, that is dynamite, Che. And I want you to take it to the old mine entrance, northwest of the lodge. Time to show you the real money maker at Parque Fernando, my gold mine. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Got a, quite a bit done uh, with the story. Uh, found out about Baden, who is trying to befriend the Pumas for no apparent reason other than because he can. So we're going to look up more about that as well as look at the gold mine. So hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Good times. <laughs>